love bugs. It's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much just for, you know, dropping comments, sharing the videos, relating, you know, and just opening up to your gift and being able to embrace it. Even though it could be trying at times, I'm glad you're giving your gift a chance. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you um, are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you just like, tell me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you uh, feel like the video has just been very informative to you and just gave you some good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that's going through some really bad times right now and just need uplift and encouragement or just even validation or confirmation to know that, you know, hey, everything is going to be okay. Go ahead and share and give me a thumbs up while you're at it and even like and share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for stopping by my channel and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Today I'm listening to uh, beautiful, relaxing music, peaceful piano music and guitar music by Soothing, soothing Relaxation. And I will post that link in the description box below. Um, yeah, I apologize for my last video. I had family coming through the house, so they were getting kind of loud and didn't know I was doing my video, so I had to cut that kind of short. Um, but today my video is about Twin Flame 101, when our wrong mindsets are being broken. You know, it's like when we've gone through life thinking things as a certain way and our spiritual awakenings, it takes things to be shaken up for we, for us to be, you know, for us to process and be reset on how we were originally supposed to be. But we have to go through life, learn, lose, have our setbacks, our mistakes. You know, everything is a learning process. We have to, you know, lose the gain. Everything has a balance. You have to be in a bad place and then come out of it being able to see things for what they really are you know we had a wrong mindset for so long being able to see things a certain way putting limited beliefs on ourselves you know being stopped from doing things just out of fear and being able to step out in the limelight and basically take our gifts by storm embracing your true self being able to walk in your true form it takes a lot to deal with because you know we always worry about judgment Worrying about what people think, worrying about what people say. You know when you get that strength and confidence when you don't care anymore. You you step out and do what you truly need to do for yourself. You know, being able to help others, being blessed to know that, you know, there at times, yes, uh being an empath has its down times, you know, but you know, there's more of good than it is bad. You can be able to you know, if you can be able to look at it in a different perspective, knowing, you know, things are for, we have to go through these certain things for a reason, being able to, you know, go through some really rough times for us to see ourselves for what we truly are, you know, that's when you know blessings are coming your way, when you can be able to see yourself the way you're supposed to see yourself, not worrying about judgment, not worrying about people's opinions, because people's opinions don't do nothing. You know, a lot of people are judging other people without fixing their things on their own selves. You know, I'm just like, you know, I always used to worry about what people thought of me. You know, I finally, you know, stepped out and put, you know, some of my music videos and stuff on, you know, my, my Facebook my Facebook page because I was always worrying about you know it, I don't want the wrong getting into the wrong hands or worrying about what people think you know because it's like I don't have my family in you know in my my stuff like that well you know I don't even call my family anymore but they used to always have people watching over the things that I was doing just to basically you know say certain things about me that they didn't want to have come out and I'm just like you know what I don't care anymore you know you know what you've done. You know what secrets you have held out. Why should I be punished for the things that you try to keep in a dark secret? I'm nobody's secret. I shouldn't worry about what people think. So, you know, because it was just like for a while I was thinking about putting my videos out, but I always try to keep my Facebook and my YouTube separate. And I'm just like, why? Why would I? Why should I? You know, this, you know, this is my life. You know, whoever I can be able to help just to bring to light what 
things we go through, we go through for a reason. And don't worry about what people think. Like I tell you all the time, you know, step out your comfort zone. Be comfortable. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. So I should have to be, you know, I should be able to live by my own, you know, my own preaching. So it, it's just like, it's amazing when you can actually do that. You know, not judging other people because, you know, with us as empaths, we get judged all the time, especially with us being Hayokas. Like I've told y'all before, we rub folks the wrong way at times, <laughs> but it's just like because they don't like hearing that pill called truth. It has, it's amazing how people will push out their insecurities on you and try to make it seem like, you know, things that we're doing. I mean, we can be uncouthful. You know, I I was, you know, my mom always told me I was not tactful. She's like, I don't have any cooth. And I was like, what is that? It's like, you be telling people things that you, you know, even my kids say that. It's like, mom, do you say everything that you think? I say, yeah. She's like, that's not a good thing. I'm just like, why is it not? You know, but I had to be very mindful about how I delivered my message because at times us as Hayokas, we'll just say it and not worry about the outcome of the process. Like, Dad, you could have been a little bit more gentle about it. You can put the truth out there without hurting people's feelings because I, you know, before I just didn't give a damn. You know, I said what I said and it was it. But, you know, I think I got that from my dad because my dad was like that at a younger point. You know, and it's just like when he, you know, became Jehovah Witness and stuff like that, he would just give you the you know, the look, but you know, he, he's saying so many different things in his head. And that's why I used to bust out laughing, seeing him. I'm like, mm, if they only knew what he was talking about <laughs> or thinking about, they would, they would leave him alone. But it's just a beautiful thing to be able to get out of that different mindset and see yourself for what they, what you truly are, seeing others for what they truly are. When you can be able to help people, you know, because there's times, like I've told y'all, I've been, I, you know, I, it's more comfortable to reach out to strangers than reach out to people I've known for years. Because for them to see me in a different light like that, you know, it, it kind of, I don't know what it is, but I don't know what it is. It's just weird because it's like, especially if people I, you know, I grew up with going to school with, you know, there's, I just didn't want them to know that part of me in my life. I don't know why. Um, Cause I guess they know me a little bit more that, or they knew me from the old me, but it's just the fact is when you can, you know, I feel like we're all self-made to a certain extent, you know, especially when you, you're an empath and you've been going so much on the 3d way for you to be flip flopped and, you know, flipped up, smack it up, roll it down, you know, like DVD, you know, BBD said, you know, you can, you're resetting yourself the way you truly supposed to. You're walking in your true self suit, being able to see yourself for who you were supposed to be. But you had to go through so many trying times. You had to go through your setbacks. You had to go through your failures, your mistakes, for you to be able to come out and be stronger than you ever were before. Because then you, you, you know, like you live, you learn. Um, nobody has a perfect past, you know, as long as you're not still doing the things that you were doing 10, 15 years ago, that means you just, you know, you're comfortable with staying the same. There's a lot of people that are comfortable with just being, and I feel like, you know, why would you want to be that way? You know, if you, if you know, you can be put some initiative out towards yourself and make yourself to be better instead of being comfortable being miserable because some people are comfortable being miserable and I'm just like Ugh, I wish I could help you but you need to be able to help yourself at the same time you know I don't mind helping anybody but you have to be able to help yourself and I tell people that all the time you know especially be on one-on-one -on -one and you're like Roslyn I really need your help and I lay it all on the line at first you know I said don't take it the wrong way I don't mind helping you you know if you need research you need links you need things for me to talk to you on one-on-one -on -one about, but you have to be willing to help yourself too. You cannot expect change if you're not trying to be that change. So it's just like being able to break that, that wrong mindset about certain things that goes on around you, even if our surroundings is a true blessing, you know, not worrying about what other people are going to come say, because you know, people are going to say what they want to say about you anyway. There are going to be some people that love you, some people are going to hate you, and some people are just going to be, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm working with it. So it's just like, you know, just going to step, step, you know, step in, step into what you're supposed to be. You know, don't ever fear of what the unknown is. We do that a lot. We fear the unknown. We fear what we don't understand. We fear of worrying about what's going to happen tomorrow or next week or even next year. But those times haven't even came yet. When you know you're working on the things you need to work on for yourself to better yourself, better your, your livelihood, or even for your loved ones, if you have children, 
you know, you're trying to do this. I love what I do. You know, I want to be a, a good example for my children. I've exposed them to so many toxic things in their life and, you know, and trying to help them out is better when you can work on them when they're young, but when they're older and they've been exposed to all the things you, you're going through, you know, my children are going through a process. So that was a really hard thing to be able to do because it's just like, I, like I've told y'all before, if you've been with me for a while, my children did not know about my childhood. I kept that to myself because it was very toxic, very painful, and very dark because a lot of things that my family tried to make it seem like it was all about, you know, what I did. I was the wrong person, even though they were having their little things that was going on. They tried to make it seem like it was all about me. For me to be able to break that chain and say, you know what, I'm not going to allow my children to go through the same things I went through even though they partially went through that I had to break that I had to be able to be there and be that that good example that I can be and being able to help others along the way is a true blessing so you know knowing your 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 wrong mindset is being broken because you truly deserve the life that you you were made to be you know to be in a better light being a better person you know, we all live and learn. We have our setbacks. You know, we have our down, down times. We have our failures. We have our mistakes. But you learn from all those things without any judgment. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. And I hope y'all had a blessed, safe weekend. And we're about to start off a new week Monday. Magic Monday. So I hope you, you were able to resonate with the content in this video. Drop me a line and let me know, you know, do you feel like you're breaking that, that wrong mindset about yourself? Um, and you're heading into bigger, bitter, be bigger, better grounds. Um, you know, like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Share. You know, give me your input. I love that. So I can be able to give you a shout out on my next video. Uh, let me see. Uh, Greg Hol Holser. Uh, Lauren Harrison. Bam, bam. Much love to you. Uh, hope sending everybody uplifting blessings and know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. I hope you have a blessed, safe for the remainder of your weekend and blessings coming towards your, your, your week. And, and I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. And be wild.